In this video, I want to show you how you can map network drives. It's one thing to be in the virtual lab, which I am. It's another thing for that virtual lab to be connected to the network drives where either software is housed or where our data is housed. And so we need to make sure that we're mapped to those particular locations. So that what you want to do is click on the File Explorer icon at the bottom of your virtual lab window here. Open that up and then click on this PC. And what you're looking for in this particular case is the student's drive, the GIS data serve on the S drive. Um, that's where our data is going to be housed for the class, and that's where you're going to be saving your data um, to your particular file uh, folder location. The other one we might be using is uh, the library drive, which is where the status software is housed. And so in order to use the status software, we need to be able to, we need to have the VLAB session mapped to that location. Now, if you don't see either of those, again, this is the student's drive, GS Data Serve S, or the library student one, uh, you'll need to map them. Now, I'm going to disconnect from each of those so that you can see me go through that process. Okay. So assuming you need to map them, you would just click on Map Network Drive. Let's do the GIS one first. Let's set that to S, please. Uh, you'll often hear me refer to this as the S drive. And then following the example underneath the window, backslash, backslash, GIS, data serve, no E, backslash, students. And then check the box for reconnect at sign in. OK, and hit finish. And what happens is now that we're mapped, all of the folders that are um, housed in the S drive are there. And what I have here, you'll often see your course folder indicated. I have one that I'm using for this tutorials. Um, what you may need to do at this point is to go into your particular class folder. You'll see a copy and paste folder and a students folder. In the copy and paste folder, you'll see the, the things that I deposit in there that I want you to obviously copy and paste into your own folder. And right now I have a data folder for various kinds of GIS data. Um, in the students folder, you'll create your own folder and please use snake case underscore it's called snake case, no spaces. And then you can go and go into the copy and paste folder, just right click on the data folder, copy it, go back to your own folder, right click and paste. And that way when you're working with data, you're drawing on the data that is specifically your own. You're not drawing from the common pool. Uh, it's just good practice to do that. Okay. So uh, that's how you connect to the GIS uh, student's drive on the S drive. Um, now let's map the library drive. Same process. This one I want you to set to G backslash backslash. It's going to be student one, the number one backslash library. And again, reconnect at sign in and hit finish. And once you're there, what you'll notice is there's a number of Stata folders. If you go into the one that's just says Stata, you'll see the there's a Stata shortcut. And you could right click and send to desktop if you wanted to create a, a shortcut on your desktop in VLAB for that. Okay. So that's how you map the network drives. Now, you should only have to do that once. It's, it's possible that those network uh, connections get disrupted, and you might have to remap. But that's what this tutorial is for. Uh, the other thing is if you wanted to make a shortcut for ArcGIS Pro, just click on the little window icon. You'll find an ArcGIS folder. And there's ArcGIS Pro. Just right click, go to More, and open File Location. And there's the shortcut. You can just right click, Send to Desktop. And then you've got the icon on the desktop for it. OK, so I hope that's helpful.